Hello everyone, I am Dr. K. Swan, Associate Professor in Department of Computer Engineering of AISSMS Institute of Information Technology, Pune. Today I am going to explain exception handling in C++. An exception is an error that arises during the execution of program or what is the exception? Exception is a runtime error. A C++ exception is a response to an exception circumstances that arise while a program is running. Error or exception disturb the normal execution of program because these are the runtime errors. Exception handling is very necessary in C++ or in object oriented programming and it is the process of handling errors during the execution of program. It makes sure that the execution of the program is not affected by the exception or runtime errors and handle them without causing any issue to the program execution and it is called the exception handling. When executing C++ code different errors can occur. Coding errors made by programmer, errors due to the wrong input or other unforeseeable things. When an error occurs, C++ will normally stop and generate an error message. The technical term for this C++ will throw an exception when the error is occurs in a try block or in throw the exception to the in a program in other block so it would be handled by that block. Exception handling is commonly used to handle errors situations in a runtime. Once an error is handled, it is no longer an error. There are two types of error normally in a program. One is a compile time error, another is a runtime error. Compile time errors handles by the compiler. The compiler will gives this error to the user and the user will resolve this. Once the user is resolved this we move for the next phase is a runtime or run the program. When we run the program, when the code is executing at that time, some errors are generated and these errors is called the runtime errors. And these runtime errors are also called as the exceptions and it is caught during the runtime. In C++ exception handling based on the three keyword try, catch and throw. Try. The code inside this block is like a trial code or we can say this block will check the error in a code or that code is involved or uh, written into the try block which might throw an exception. If the error is generated that might throw an exception. This exception is caught inside the catch block. Okay, once the some exception is generated here or error generated at runtime that will be throw using the exception throw block statement and that once it is throw it is cached into the catch block in catch block the code in this block is executed when the code in the try block throw an exception you know throw this is the word or this keyword or throw keyword is used to throw an exception when it is encountered the exception is sent to the exception handler to the catch block. This is the part of try block. This is syntax of the exception handling. Here this is the try block and try block consists of the throw. And once it is throw the some exception, it will be catch here or caught here. Here the code means we are checking the error code or error in a code or something something given input and that input is wrong that will be throw to here or we can handle this runtime errors using the catch block. The simple program for exception handling or exception. Okay, here is when we, we are asking the user, we have taken three integer value a, b, c. We are asking the user enter a and enter b. Once the user enter a and b, we are giving the a is 5 and b is 2. So 5 divided by 2 the answer equal to c equal to 2 so it will be executed very nicely but when we are giving the output 
or when you're giving the input a equal to 5 and b equal to 0. So when the b equal to 0, it is an abnormal termination occur or it is not possible to any number divided by 0. So this is the error. This is called the divide by 0 error. And this divide by 0 error we can handle here. When you see it as the enter the b, we can check here if b equal equal to 0. In try block, we can write add here try block. And in try block, we can write if a uh, so if b equal equals to 0, then not possible to divide else means it is non-zero value so it then go to the execute c equal to a by b okay this is another example here we have taken in a try block int age equal to 15 if age is greater than 18 then access granted you are old enough so if the age is 17 years when 17 is uh, is greater than 18 no so it will throw the exception when this throw the exception the control goes to into the catch block int my name my num this age is mapped here whatever the age is throw by there it is 17 access denied you must be at least 18 years old and here see out age whatever the age is passed here that is 17 thank you happy learning